Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, this is Zycox and welcome to my next video of Let's Pro Play Prophecy of Pandor. So, um, in the last video I have joined the fight against uh, the Empire and helped out uh, Baron Kadern of the Kingdom of Sarleon. We haven't met properly yet, have we? What's your name? My name is Zycox. Well met Zycox, I am Baron Kadern. Thanks for your help, and I hope we meet again. I yield. You have won. Cursed be this damnable day. Right. I have been lucky. Uh, I can actually capture him. But since I do not see... I do not deem this very logical, because I'm just... Let's face it, uh, we're just two people, and we joined the uh, Lord's fighting. So I will not be capturing him for ransom. You have fought well. You're free to go. Right, so, um, yes, I captured him in the battlefield and I have decided to let him go before the Sarleon soldiers come. I appreciate that. When you are finally defeated, I will request that your death be swift and merciful. Unless you'd care to join us. I gain honor. Very nice. So, I gained a level in the fight because I managed, yes, believe it or not, I actually managed to kill two soldiers and uh, yes I'm quite satisfied um, yes now we have to be careful because we are in positive relations with Sarleon but yes we have uh, negative relationships with the Empire now as you can see here minus four and plus four so what else can we check what's new here in Prophecy of Pandora is achievements so there are achievements that you can um, that you can get in prophecy of pandor and also victory progress so our goal to fulfill the prophecy of Mardigan is to reinstate the kingdom of pandor and as you can see the kingdom of pandor has been long forgotten while the other Realms are still strong. The shield wall halts. The emperor's will is law. The wind riders are fiercely united. The dragon is defiant in the north. Also, the minor faction, the snake cult, is healthy. The Jitu are healthy. The mist mountain barbarians are healthy. And the heretics are healthy. Right. Nor the relations suspicious. Victory is achieved by having one kingdom remaining. The Nolder must have a favorable or better relations with you and every other minor faction must be obliterated or destroyed with no outstanding minor faction armies or heroic personalities on the map so this is where we stand this is what we have to look out for and let's talk to him I mean we did have a big fight maybe a good relation yes I still remember how bravely you fought in the great battle near Yaragar. Let's let us praise the gods and never forget that victories are only achieved with the favor of the gods. Do you have any tasks for me? I need to send a letter to Lord Melbert, who should be currently at Mowbray Castle. Of course, I have no idea where Mowbray Castle is, but why not? Baron Harivard. Yes, we've met. Yes, some nice voice acting and a lawless villain named Ludikal, Ludikal of Torba. So let's hunt him down and kill him and that will be... Ah, actually that is a pretty good source of Denar. Come to think of it. Lord Othon, at your service. So, having found a proper trader... Wait, I'm still better at trading. How come? Oh, he's got the same trading as me. So, I'm looking for a proper trader so I can get collected taxes from Windholm. So, we are looking for a nice companion with high trade skill and hopefully we will, we will be able to find 
A companion soon, King Ulrich. Nothing for me. Arena, come on, give me a tournament because I want money. Money, money, money. Ethos, Ravenstern, and Cinderfall. Okay, which is not so nice because all of these locations are rather far. Right. Mowbray military... Uh, militia patrol. Um, Ethos. Oh, Ethos is not that far, but they are hostile to us. And I'm not at full health. Oh, actually, I forgot to level up. So let's level up. Get one more in agility so I can actually up in my athletics and yeah I should be upping my two-handed instead of one-handed. Uh, yeah, any two-handed weapons around? These are all rather um, expensive. Heavy war axe. This looks nice, but it will. This this is actually. This will actually cost me all my money that I have, which is not that nice. Yes, that's really not that nice. Oh, what to do, what to do. Should I gear up? Actually, this is not a bad sword, so okay. Hopefully I will just get a lucky drop somewhere, but um, I think I should keep my, um, my denars and try to look out uh, to recruit some capable companions oh Sigismund another capable companion but he is probably going to be very expensive if you just look at the f at the gorgeous armor that he has so yeah let's just ignore him for now so let's go to ethos How slow are we? Seven. Seven. Seven is not that great. Actually, I have nice prisoners. I could try to recruit them, but uh, okay, there's a chance that they would leave me in the midnight. Um, selling these prisoners should give me a nice boost of uh, dinners in the beginning. Athos is hostile, so let's look for some villagers. Maybe we can help out and improve. Uh, improve our relations with them again ah yes nice music I love the music in Prophecy of Pandora it's really really fitting can you smell that lemon trees apples and saffron crocus flowers the sense of ethos ethos maybe I spent many a happy summer here when I was studying with the abbot Ethos has wet winters and hot summers, but the people here build great cisterns to water their crops. They grow wonderful grapes. Ethosian wine is famous, my lord. Those who can afford it have walled gardens where fruit trees grow in abundance. Wheat sit at night listening to music or playing chess or just enjoying the sweet scents of the night air. They, the poets call Ethos a paradise, and I think for that, and I think that for once they do not take poetic license. So in other words, he does not think that they exaggerate for those who are maybe not so good with... Okay, let's try to sneak in. We're just two, we should be able to sneak in. Come on, please, please let it be successful. Ah, okay, disguised in the garments of a poor pilgrim, you fool the guards. They make your way. Oh, you are... A tournament will be held here soon. You have neither a noble origin nor are you renowned. Therefore, you're not allowed to participate in tournament. Uh, so why did I go to the trouble to sneak in here in the first place? Oh, look, I got a nice instrument and I can use it as a shield. I wonder where I got that. Farmer. Mercenary Highlander. Sarah the Fox. Very nice. So we actually, we got even two companions here and they're, they're both they're both my favorite companions in Prophecy of Pandora they're so nice but I cannot how much money do I have oh gosh Sarah the Fox 
Greetings, Captain. I'm called Sarah the Fox. Hello there, Sarah. How did you get your foxy nickname? If it is a tale you desire, then a tale I assuredly shall tell. I am called the Fox because my words and allure enchant my would-be suitors, leaving them in hot pursuit of a fox they can never catch. With my pursuit of pleasure, my keen wits and my eloquent songs and poetry, I enrapture every man I encounter. When cornered, I fight. When chased, I go to ground. With my rapier, I fence moonlight on my steed. I raise the dawn. I'm a troubadour by profession, a courtesan upon occasion, and a deadly enigma at all times. I am known for my elegant verse and exquisite songs. When I grow bored, I travel onward, amusing myself with whatever diversions come my way. I confess to an affection for Pandora, so for the past several years have visited its towns and castles, earning good coin with my talents. Which reminds me, I find myself in a slightly difficult predicament due to a misunderstanding. A rather handsome young man has become infatuated with me and is relentless in his pursuit of these desires. I must leave his this town immediately, as the young man is the Lord's son. As we speak, his men are searching for his beloved. I would prefer not to be captured or forced to win my freedom with my rapier. Right, I may be able to use an extra sword in my company. Indeed, your enlistment of me would be a, of mutual benefit. I will sing epic quatrains of your exploits while whilst slaying your enemies with panache. I may appear slight of frame, but my blade is as deadly as my tongue. I am an expert equestrian, and I have some ad additional skills that you may find interesting. All right, good. Please remember, my men are hired for fighting, not flirting. Before I formally join you, there's the small matter of the expenses I've incurred while staying here. 1,500 dinars. Could you cover my bill for me? As a gesture of friendship? I can't afford that. Ah. Oh. And boy, this is going to be even more expensive. Oh. So, yeah. Let's help this farmer from marauding bandits. Oh, Empire Pelbert, this is actually a really nice thing. I don't have the money anyway, and I will be aiming to go for 200 weapons, like this one. This is rather cheap. Ah, I feel so inclined to just waste money to buy stuff. Uh, 508, 476. Maybe I should do this, actually. Uh, this is not so bad. It's a little bit slow, but if I get a 200 weapon, I might go for reach. Anyway. Shortened military scythe. 508. Actually, it's not really that... Well, the damage is not really that bad. Uh, I can't decide. I have so little money. Let's look for a horse. Damn it. Renegade Fierce Vine Knights. Yeah, sure, because I will most assuredly be able to defeat them. Okay. So, which. Fednar. There it is. Oh, and there was no ransom broker, which is not so nice. I should get rid of these prisoners so I could speed up a little bit. Yeah, the lords won't be trouble. They're slow. And uh, what are these? Oh, outlawed adventuring company. Yeah, you have to be careful of those because major factions will usually leave these alone, I believe, if I remember correctly. Oh, let's see what I can do. 14 Mist Mountain Raiders. Oh, we should be able to do this with the help of the farmers, of course. 
So, yeah, let's go. How many are we? Only 29? That, that's not so promising. Where's Hanson? Oh, yeah. What? They're on horses? Oh, it really has been too long since I last played. Damn it. He has a big ass mall. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Oh, I missed. Give me that mall. Goodbye. Okay. I need to help them out quickly. Oh damn it, there's a lot of them. Oh shit, I was knocked out. Oh, damn it. Oh, come on. Oh, no, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. Yeah, we lost. Sorry. Sorry, dear farmers. Yeah, maybe I should have kept my sword against these uh, yeah oh I'm sorry I'm sorry oh my health is oh gosh oh my gosh okay I, I don't think we even had a lot of pathfinding to begin with so I don't think this is going to affect our party speed by too much and our relationship is bad of course but it's not catastrophic so they won't go out of their way to pursue us and it luckily luckily normal peasants will leave us alone what's this renegade feared by knights yes those were the ones in the bounty hunt quest and yes of course you would not be able to take them on let's go somewhere safe and recover our health Damn it, I was hoping to get a little bit money or at least renown and relationship with the village, but yeah. Secular knights, very nice. Come on, ransom broke up. Ransom broke up. Borgi the Fat. Yes, I already know who you are, and I got some prisoners for you. What? 20? The outcast is going to someone else, I guess. Eriks! What can you tell me? So, people. Oh, okay, I'm still too early in the game. Ranger of the Clarion Call. Greeting, sire. Care to share some air with that travel very night? Travel weary knight. I'd like to learn more about your order. Why does your order choose to use horse, horse archers? We are highly mobile force which patrols and secures our borders. We need to move fast to locate and harass our enemies. This is the way the nobility of Valaria has learned to fight. While the lions of Sarion have their rolling plains, the knights of the east must adapt to the forest and the steppes. Many of the Larian nobility fight this way. Have you seen Dularian Outriders? Yes, I have. I just saw them in the battle against the Empire. Many of them are young nobles from Laria who wish to fight like us, instead of those pompous lions. We may fight like the Dishar, which is the best for most situations, but does that mean we forgo the tradition but that does not mean we forgo the traditional ways of knightly battle. We still bear spear and sword with pride and skill. Why is your order called the Knights of the Clarion Call? The Clarion call name stems from our answering the call to protect the frontier, to advance against our enemies, and to demonstrate that those who bear arms against us forfeit their lives. I have heard people say that your horses are different from other Pandor breeds. We prefer faster horses than those heavy war horses of other orders, so we breed ours from the Shar and Jatu stock, and trade with their horse dealers for breeding stock. Thank you for clearing that up for me. Nice. Barclay Sapa. 
nice heavily armored infantry and uh, well um, crossbow men but far too expensive and expensive upkeep I would be able to afford them but yeah hello hail and wet my lord to what do I owe your interest you strike me as somewhat out of place who are you and what do you do to the point I like that I'm called quick fan an odd name to your ears of that there is no doubt huh as to who I am well, I am uh, a merchant of sorts. Perhaps in your language a broker would be close to the truth of the matter. I stay here in Laria and sell northern goods to those who... Uh, how do we put this delicately? To those who are friendly to the Noldor and their plight. I sell arms and armor and a variety of trinkets and I also at times broker the service of Noldor rangers into the service of very select companies um yes i see that i have your interest hmm yes i am interested tell me more remember that you must be on good terms with the norder to engage me in business i offer you two choices the first is to purchase from me norder armor and weapons the second is to retain norder adventurers to fight by your side in your quest to unite this land and to push back the followers of the dark goddess very nice I may be interested in Norder Arms and Armor. It seems that the Norder do not yet trust you enough to allow me to sell items to you. Go and improve your relationship with them and then return and we can do business. Right. And uh, this reminds me, as I came to Pandor with the ship, I had heard rumors of the Norder. Uh, some call them elves. But of course that's a rather strange word so we just stick with Nordor and prophecy of Pandor and the Nordor are famous for their magic the magic that they have lost that they have lost in a great calamity that they will not speak of now the only thing that remains is are the enchanted magic weapons and armor that they have and the legendary skill um, and some that some refer to as infernal the kingdom of since the collapse of the kingdom of Pandor, the Noldor have been in decline and have been at war with all the other factions. I do not know yet what I will do with the Noldor. Maybe I will decide later in game. Okay, so I think this video has gone on long enough, so I will make another cut and see you in see you next time. Thank you for watching.